There's a, a fellow whose name escapes me right now who just won the Nobel Prize in Economics who legitimately made his entire career out of studying the economics of climate change. When does he think that intervention economically is called for? He says that until he believes that over the next century there's 3.5 degrees centigrade of climate change, that intervention actually would be counterproductive. 3.5 degrees centigrade. Okay, so I, I don't know the guy he's referring to, but 3.5 degrees. Now, that might sound small if to someone like Ben, if you haven't studied climatology, but 3.5 degrees in a century is colossal by geologic standards. So for those of you who are new to the channel, my background's in geology, specifically paleoclimate science, which is the study of past climate change. To put 3.5 degrees into context, the difference between the present and the last glacial period was as little as four degrees Celsius. Four degrees, it's about four to six degrees globally. But it took thousands of years to warm from one to the other. So Ben's talking about a three and a half degree warming in a century, which is almost equivalent to the difference between an ice age and the pre-industrial period, a period when glaciers covered like half the Northern hemisphere. I'm not an economist, but that, difference and that speed as well. Remember, it took thousands of years to get from, you know, the last ice age to today. We're talking 10 times faster or more. In fact, much more. Three and a half degrees in a century is like 30 times more. That level of change, I, I don't know if, if economists can quite grasp what three and a half degrees actually means, but it's scary.